starting to hear the whispers reach in my ears of warm intentions. Oh, Christmas will burn the coziest fire. Hi, guys, thank you so much for joining with me. Today is going to be another playing with new makeup session. So, I've picked up some new items recently. The first one is the Shantakai Anti Glycation Primer. Also, got the Dior Capture Total serum foundation the shade I have here is in 0N and last time I talked about it but I received my two Victoria Beckham orders the first one is this one so I got another shade of her blush this shade is in roller skates and it's a really bright pink bubble come pink wow it's literally glowing in the camera also from Shantakai, I got the perfect blur powder, but the shade I got is in medium light. I mean, is in medium deep. I thought this one would be a really nice bronzing shade, and also the texture of the powder is really smooth. Also, part of the Victoria Beckham order, I received the uh, by Augustina's Batter, is their original primer. I'm not going to use it today because I'm going to be using the Shantakai but really excited to try this out some other day. I received the mirror eyeshadow as well, luster eyeshadow. I'll just do a swatch because I don't think I'll be going for silver today or such a dramatic look, but that's a gray silver of the mirror shade. And finally, I did receive the bronze eyeliner there's plenty of swatches online, so I'll just add my two cents here. That's a swatch down here. I've been really getting into primers, and another one I picked up is this one by RMS. This is the Re Evolve Radiance Locking Primer. The one that comes up like this, because I feel recently my skin do really need that makeup barrier. It's been getting a lot more dry and dehydrated, so I've been testing out a couple of different primers to see how it reacts on my skin and how it matches with the foundation. So these are the new items I received recently. If you guys want any in-depth video on any one specific product, please comment down below. But today I think I'm going to go in with a really easy kind of bronzy makeup because it's summer here in Sydney, but honestly the temperature and weather hasn't been summery. So I'm trying to reflect that summeriness with my makeup today. So first, I'm going to be using this Shantikai primer. Shake it up. It's really liquidy. You can see it just sliding around on my hand. But I tested this in store and this primer literally blurs out all the pores. And also it just locks in the moisture so well. You can see it on my face right now, that radiance finish. The primer on the skin is really smoothing. I feel it kind of slippy, so I'm not sure how it's gonna sit under foundation. But in terms of pores, I do feel it blurs out the pores really well. The shine did calm down a little bit, but there's still a radiance. Onto foundation and I have to mention I do really like the design of the packaging here. The cap is in this wave design, front and back as well. It just looks really elegant. I just went in with half a pump of that foundation and I do really like the shade. So it's in 0N and it matches me so well. And even though it's half a pump, I think for everyday basis, it's enough. I just applied it to the center of my face like always. 
and you can see how it just blends out effortlessly to the size of my cheeks here which there's hardly any foundation but I do really like this shade and I like the consistency too sitting on top of that foundation it's just really easy to blend out and it's almost seamless and I just use my fingers there's no streaks or anything Next we're going in with concealer. The one I'm using is by Dior as well. The shade is in 0N and the reason I picked up the foundation was this 0N concealer just matches me so well. So I'm going to be applying this a little bit underneath the eyes and also around the mouth here. And I find that this concealer is climbing up to be one of my favourites because under the eyes it seriously does not crease. and the coverage is also I would say is a medium to high coverage it's not a really hard high coverage so it's enough for kind of everyday purposes and I like to bring whatever is left on my fingers just around the nose For my little blemish here, I'm going to go in with the Eri Perez Arnica Concealer in the shade Latte. I'm just going to quickly set my under eyes using the Pat McGrath powder. And then for blush today, I'm going to try this roller skate shade from Victoria Beckham. I'm not sure how it's going to tie together with the whole look, but since I got it, I just want to try it out. As a base colour, I think it looks really nice. I've blended it out so it's not so punchy. I do really like the finish. To set everything, I'm going to be using my big tub of Clay de Peau powder. And then I'm going to be moving on to my brows using my recent favourite. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. The shade I have here is in medium brown. For today I'm going to start with the face first only because I want to see how the face pans out to decide on the eyes. So I'm going to go in with this Shantakai medium deep powder. Just going to see how it turns out as a bronzer. Or a bronzer, which is proving to be the case. Because when I swatched it in store, it wasn't as deep or as warm as a normal bronzer would be but it still gave that dimension I'm going to go in with a touch of bronzer and the one I'm using is the Natasha Denona sculpting powder in the shade light just along the cheekbones here I just want to bring that blush color out more and so I'm going back with the blush just dotting it a tiny bit on the apples I'm 
Moving on to the eyes, I think I'm going to go in with something really simple. So just putting bronzer on the eyes and I've applied primer on the eyes already. It's blending it out now. First using a bit of that contour shade and I've cleaned my brush today. So it's nice and fluffy. For the eyes, I really want to use this highlighter. This is the Estee Lauder highlighter in the shade Modern Mercury. This is the shade that I believe Victoria Beckham brought out years ago when she collaborated with Estee Lauder. I just want to apply this to the inner and to the half of the lid space. Inner portion to middle. And this one is definitely a tad too dark for me as a highlighter on the face, but on the eyes is really beautiful. To line the eyes, I'm going to be using the Victoria Beckham eyeliner in the shade Coco. It's basically a dark brown. And I really love these eyeliners because first of all, the design of the cap is genius it's literally airtight every single time you close it and also the pigmentation of these eyeliners are super super strong and the formulation is so soft it just glides onto the eyes but at the same time you can blend it out but it stays after you blend it out so it's just amazing it ticks all the boxes that I want for a liner whether it be like a really nice defined line or a smudgy smoky eye for the liner today I want to wing it out a little bit on the end And then just using a precise pencil brush like this, smudging it out. And then finishing off the eyes with some mascara. Oh Christmas, it's what I'm starting to hear. The whispers reach in my ear. To tie together the whole look, I'm gonna be using a pretty bright lipstick. This is Fire by Victoria Beckham. And it's this vibrant orangey red. For the edge, I want to blend out with a lip brush like this. And that's my finished look. Because the lips are so bright, I feel like this will look fantastic as a festive makeup look as well. Thank you guys so much for keeping me company today. If you have any questions on what I use today or the products that I've showcased in the very beginning, please comment them down below. Before you leave, please do leave a like and also subscribe to my channel down below as well. Thank you guys so much. Until next time, stay beautiful and stay positive. Bye.